Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we will talk about how you can install docker from where you can actually download the docker. Okay, so we are talking about docker containers and here you can just go to dockerhub.com and there you can actually get the DMG for your docker installation. You can see it is getting downloaded. I already have it so I will just cancel it. But from here you can install DMG and then you can start the docker. Once your installation is done, you will see a docker running something like this. You can see on the top and here you can just look at the docker dashboard. So here you will be able to see all the containers I have in my docker hub. So here if I try to show you how the docker dashboard look like. So docker dashboard you can extend it further. Here is the basic docker dashboard look like. Currently I don't have any container. I don't have anything currently on the system. I just installed the fresh docker. So I don't have any container running. No particular image is available. For if you just wanted to try you can just, just uh, start this particular container. It is actually having the docker documentation which you will be able to see on port 80 on your system. Okay. You can actually explore the docker containers and uh, the different commands, what is docker file, how to create a docker build, basic documentation about docker, okay. So I am able to run the docker after doing that installation. Now we will see the basic things. Here you are able to install docker either on the Mac, Ubuntu or Linux machine. There are good enough instructions are written how to actually install docker on the Ubuntu. There are some shell commands which you need to run. On the Mac it is very easy you install DMZ and just do next 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 and that docker get installed on your system then you can just start running it and here you can see the docker is running right here you can check the preference and all docker also comes with lot of other things here you can check the resources right because that depends on the system resources which your system is allowing to occupy currently based on your system like if you have 16 GB 8 gigs RAM then you can allocate the RAMs accordingly and here the disk space okay disk space size if you just wanted to limit this docker to only use 8 GB then you can do this and this is your disk image location and this is the particular location where it is going to create containers going to pull the images and store it here okay you can also enable the Kubernetes that will actually just uh, single cluster I mean you will have a single standalone cluster you will get by enabling this Kubernetes and you will be able to run the kubectl commands with the help of docker itself because you are enabling the Kubernetes and it will little it will become a little heavy if you are enabling Kubernetes here you can also explore the experimental features and all that is fine in the general you can see we would be able to use this to actually look at our containers and all. For now let's cancel it. And here coming back to our slides, what we are doing. So once the docker is done, installation is done, you can run these commands docker. And docker dash dash version is also fine. That will give you okay the docker has been installed, docker daemon process is running. Because if you are running this and nothing is happening means there is something wrong with your docker installation right so you have to actually pull this so you can just run docker dash dash version I can show you that I mean these are some baby steps which you have to follow but I can see this docker command is running Right, all the other commands which I can run once the docker is installed so currently on my system docker daemon process is running and whenever you are accessing it from the CLI it is actually talking to docker daemon process to give you all these things if you are talking about docker images docker volumes docker containers 
all these commands whatever you are executing it is actually talking to docker daemon process this is cli and giving you the the information which you need like if i just do docker images i already have a few images available these are actually docker container images once you build these images it will become containers that we will talk uh, in coming sessions so this is the main architecture which you should understand clearly what actually it is and how it works so we downloaded the docker we installed docker docker is running on our system so currently we are sitting here there is a docker daemon process we have some images we will be building containers from the images okay so whenever you do the build command so you might have seen this build command docker docker pull command first talk about so what docker pull command is doing is it it is actually pulling the image from docker hub you might have seen downloading the repository from github right either do the fork or either download it manually so that is the pull command so docker pull hello world what it will do is docker pull node js what it will do is it will go to the docker hub registry same as npm registry or github registry it will check do we have that particular docker image available on the docker hub on the cloud if yes then it will pull it and it will keep the docker image locally so if i just try to docker pull redis what will happen is it will actually pull the redis image from the docker hub for us right it is actually pulling from the docker hub now the image is available but it hasn't become a container when you run an image then only it will become a container okay so first pull it then run it so we have the image from the docker daemon from the command line what we are doing is there are three lines right so from command lines we are doing docker pull docker pull is actually you see the yellow dots docker pull it is actually going to the docker hub and putting the image in the host system okay pull is complete here this pull is complete i have now docker image okay sorry here you can see i have the redis image available now next thing is pull pull is done now we have a run command so what run command is doing is if you see the green dots from the command line you are writing command it is actually going talking to the docker daemon process of host operating system and it is actually looking for that image which you already have okay and it is actually building the container so if you see the green dots it is looking at the docker image and it is creating the final container for you okay then we have like build command is also there what build command actually does in some cases you might have to create your own docker file right so either you pull from the docker hub or you pull the base image and create your own docker file right in that case docker run commands will be helpful docker run or docker run command or docker build command so build command what it does is it actually builds the container from docker file okay we have seen the pull which is actually pulling run which is actually converting the docker image to the container then docker build command it is actually a specific case where you are writing your own docker file to create a container it means your own instructions to create the, your own container okay so currently this redis image is predefined but we in our case like if you are writing python code java and node js we will be creating our own docker file and then we will be just running the build command on that docker file to convert uh, into a container so docker build will create image then you will run it okay then it will become container okay so these are all are actually three commands pull pull the image and then build build will actually build the docker image from the docker file then run command will convert the docker image into a container if you can understand this docker architecture everything else will be easy this is the client client will be on the host operating system only this is docker registry docker hub it is on the cloud we are actually pulling the image making the image available to the local and then we are running the docker build for the docker file to convert and to into image and then docker run command to convert it into a container or you are actually downloading a predefined image like redis mysql mongodb rabbitmq from the docker hub we are pulling them 
and we are hitting only docker run command to make the measure running container okay thanks everyone